You expect me to search the galaxy for the home of this creature and deliver it to a race of enemy sorcerers? This is the way. Once again, Bucketheads, Mavar, Tigar, this is, t- my name is Tom. This is the Mandovision Podcast. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is a very special bonus show, I suppose. Uh, really, it's an addendum because something something happened last night as I was uh, uploading the new episode of the show, the one that aired, or the one that dropped today on Friday, February 19th. Where we we talked about uh, uh, season three, episode seven, the Academy, and this is the one where uh, ah- Ahsoka, at at the behest of Padme Amidala and the Jedi Council and and Duchess Satine, comes to Mandalore to root out corruption in the Mandalorian government. Uh, and and as I was uploading this episode, I realized that. There was one element to this episode that I really didn't spend enough time, nearly enough time, talking about and addressing, uh, and and I th- I think it it bared it, it to me it was so important that it bared this special addendum episode uh, that you can listen to at the very very end of the other episode, <laughs> and the, the a nice little provided a nice little bookend uh, to close the book on the academy, and and. Again, that important element is is we didn't talk about it enough, and that is, this is Ahsoka Tano's first visit to Mandalore, a planet that looms large in her future, in her ultimate destiny as a member of the Jedi Knights, and even after she leaves the Jedi Order, uh, it, it is it is a big part of her destiny, uh, her growth, her development, however you want to put it, in whichever terms you prefer. Uh, and, and again, I, we, we sort of skirted past that in the initial breakdown of the episode. And I, I, I wanted to apologize. <laughs> I want to apologize for that. That is my fault. I, um, I, I, I can offer you some lame excuses about how I'm moving and my brain is distracted and a bit scrambled. Uh, but, but the fact of the matter is I, I take a lot of pride in making sure I have all my talking points uh, lined up and ready to go. And I hit them all. And uh, th- I, I missed this one completely. And that's, that is my fault. So I wanted to do this, this special addendum to talk about that more. And, and like we said, this it's it's important. This is a, this is sort of a milestone moment. Even though the episode is, is small in scale uh, in many many senses, uh, because we're very focused on on this one set of characters. You know, Ahsoka's not even the main character in this episode necessarily. We spend a lot of time following those cadets, but this is Ahsoka's first time on the planet. This is her first impressions of the planet. Her first interactions with the people of Mandalore, and again, while while. Um, I don't want to overstate it. Uh, it, it, it. It bears pointing out, uh, because Mandalore is such a big part of her overarching story, her overarching development, that, that her paying attention to these, these, these first interactions, these first moments on the planet, I think is significant. I think it, it, um, it is a something we need to take note of, we need to pay attention to, because as the Mandalorian, Mandalorian storyline deepens, over the course of the next couple of seasons, you, you know we're going to look back at these moments as as the beginnings. Like these are like this is where the seeds are all being planted, and it's important to pay attention to the planting of these seeds the, to to Almec and his status. Because guess what? We're not done with Almec. He's going to be back in season four, big part in season four. As as and, and you know what happens in season four. You know where we're going. 
uh, with, with with the show. You know what characters are we're going to meet are going to rise up and are going to do bad things. So these sort of smaller, more contained episodes. Again, I know this is a two part episode, but it's, but it's it's contained in the sense that when we go back to Mandalore in season four, it's it's epic. It's grandiose. It is large scale action sequences, battle scenes, and intensity like we have never seen before on Star Wars The Clone Wars. There's been some intense episodes of The Clone Wars, but I, I think season four, uh, well, okay, by the end of season three, we get some really intense episodes. But the stuff that happens in Mandalore next season is just, you're just sitting there and you're you are on the edge of your seat and, and you're just so fired up and you're so excited. And, and again, so to look at these episodes like the Academy, these are the seeds. These are moments being planted. These are developmental moments for Ahsoka. Again, look at the long game. Look at her arc where she's going. We know where Ahsoka goes. We know where she ends up. But these moments, these steps to how she gets there, these are pivotal in in our charting the progress of that character. We talked about it at the beginning of the show, at the, at the beginning of the podcast, at the beginning of this Clone Wars rewatch, uh, how Ahsoka started off as a fairly divisive character. Uh, and by the end, was one of the most beloved characters in the history of Star Wars. Uh, and and again, I, it, it's been said before by me and by many, many others. There was a plan in place. There was a character developmental arc in place for this character. You know, Dave Filoni, George Lucas, they, they mapped this all out. They planned this all out. They they were they knew what they were doing. And and again, so that's what makes these moments so important. When when you were like, oh my gosh, this is the first time we're seeing Ahsoka on Mandalore. Like this is kind of momentous in a sense. Like there's a lot that's gonna happen based around her interactions, her experiences with these people. And I wanted to point that out once again because it's just it is a big deal when these when these moments happen we should be paying attention because again that's the that's the that's the fun of this rewatch is is being able to compare contrast analyze look at things from the multiple perspectives that we're seeing them uh, because again we know the end game we know how it started we know what's in the middle and we get to have a fun discussion about uh, how we got here where we're going and, and the hows and whys of all it for all the characters how they all fit into this in the, into this puzzle piece and and Ahsoka's puzzle piece on Mandalore is a big, big piece. You know, uh, it, it's funny to think back. You know, it's it's called Star Wars: The Clone Wars, and it 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 is obviously that it is very much focused on the time, the fall of the Republic, just before Order sixty six, and the rise of the First Galactic Empire. But so much of it is is wound around the events of Mandalore. And it's such a fascinating aspect of the of the lore because when you, when you have when you when you encounter a Star Wars fan who only knows the films and and you start to kind of talk to them about about stuff from the Clone Wars and they just give you like that strange look they arch that eyebrow and they're like what are you talking about I don't I don't, I don't know that and and you, you you get to be in the position to be like oh my friend sit down and let me weave you a story let me tell you a tale let me let me dazzle you. Let me regale you with the stories of yore of the Clone Wars. Or, you know, you just tell them to go watch it on Disney+. Plus. Either way, you're going to present that, that person with a really fun uh, new opportunity. And trust me, I still know a lot of Star Wars fans who have not yet gone on this journey, who have not yet taken those first steps to watch Star Wars The Clone Wars and to, and to see uh, just the richness, the developmental stuff that goes on, not just for the characters that we know, not just for Obi-Wan and Anakin and Padme, but for Ahsoka Tano, a character that is now so intrinsically uh, linked to the future of Star Wars uh, because of The Mandalorian, because of the announcement of her own series, and, and, and because, you know, there are some fans out there, maybe, you know, maybe they fell out with, uh, along the way, you know, they, they read the Timothy Zahn books back in the 90s, they know who Grand Admiral Thrawn is. And you mentioned that Thrawn's coming back, and now you want to know, well, well, wait, what's his connection to this Ahso Ahsoka character? She wasn't in the Timothy Zahn books. And and it's just, we're there. We are right now witnessing something important. And that's all I'm really trying to emphasize. I, I don't want to, I, I feel like I'm making it maybe a bit more, uh, uh, gr again, grandiose than, than it, it really ought to be. But Mandalore is grandiose in the grand scheme of this series. So I wanted to take time to point that out, to, to kind of 
get everyone thinking along those lines, you know, because when, when we have our discussions and our, and our wrap ups at the end of the season, at the end of the episodes, like these are the things we got to keep in our, in our minds, um, as, as, as we, as we, as we, uh, mm, that's not the right word. I, the word I want to use, the word, excuse me, the word I was about to use is not the word I want to use. So I'm going to, I'm going to skip that. But in the, in the end, in, the, in our analysis as fans, these are the moments you have to pay attention to. This is when we got to take notes and, and, and really see those interactions, really see, pay attention to what Almec is saying when he, when he's talking about the corruption and what he's done with the creation of this black market, you know, how Satine reacts to it. What Ahsoka thinks of all this. And, and it's, it's, again, we're going to come back to these, this episode. We're going to come back to these earlier Mandalorian episodes next year when we go, when we get really into the, into the thick of it with the Mandalore plots. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, more stuff with Pre Vizsla, more stuff. We, we meet Bo Katan for the first time. You know, the, a lot of really interesting things down the road coming up. And these are those first steps. And that's why it's, it's, it's important to pay attention to these now when they're happening. And uh, I am, I, again, I apologize. I, had, I don't know why these didn't end up, this didn't end up in my initial talking points. I, I, I apologize. My brain's a bit scrambled, a little preoccupied with, with, with our, our move. And so I, I blew it. I blew it. And I apologize. But that's what this addendum's for. I'm putting it out there as just a little, just a little afterthought, a little after action report for Star Wars The Clone Wars episode, uh, excuse me, season three, episode seven, The Academy. Really, a, again, a rock solid episode. But pay attention to some of these, these interactions, some of these, these first moments that Ahsoka spends on the planet. And the way she's looking at things, the way she's viewing the planet, viewing the world. Uh, and and think about you know remind yourself how how large Mandalore looms in her future and how intertwined her path is with it, and and I think I think that adds another layer to the episode. So that's all I want to say about that. I truly appreciate you all taking the time to download, listen, uh, support the shows, share the show with friends, family, loved ones, all the other Mandalorians in your covert. That really means the world to me. Make sure they are following us on social media because we're at Mando underscore Vision Twitter and Instagram. You can email the show, mandavisiontom at gmail.com. And again, if, if you got the time and you want to support the show, the easiest, best way to do it, five-star reviews. They are so insanely helpful. We, t- we truly, truly appreciate it. They really help the small independent shows like us stand out, not get lost in the shuffle of all the corporate America podcasts that are out there. You know what it is. You know how it is. So we thank you for taking the time to do that. My name is Tom, and this is Mandovision. I, I want to thank you all for being here. I'm so glad. Um, I you know I didn't give us the official, the official greeting, the official, uh, um, you know, time to strap on your buckets because, as an addendum episode, I'm hoping that you're just listening to this right after you listened to the Acad- the Academy episode, and your bucket's still on. So I, I, I hope I haven't broken format <laughs> with the, with my own podcast. <laughs> but just for, for posterity's sake, it's time. Strap on your buckets. Let's go. All right, let's get out of here. Thanks for listening to this addendum. Uh, my apologies once again, but we'll be back on Monday with an all new episode of Star Wars The Clone Wars Rewatch Mondays. Get ready, we'll see you soon. And remember, this podcast can only end one way. This is the 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 way.